Uh, well, I haven't been posting YouTube videos in the last few months. It's been because I've, uh, I've actually been falling deeply in love with the format of film photography. It's one of the best. <laughs> last March, so March of 2019, and um, my dad was visiting me in, when I was at school in Portland. You know, he's a he was a photographer and taught photography for a long time, so I was like, yo, you should go check out this uh, photography store down the street. I go there all the time. You know, it's really a cool, cool store. It's a lot of vintage cameras and stuff. So I go off, do my thing. He goes to the store. He comes back and he's like, yo, look what I got. And he comes back with the Bronica SQ. And I was like, oh, this is sick. Like, you're going to start like getting into photography again. And I didn't know much about film photography at all at the time. So I'm like, oh, man, this is like super cool vintage camera. You're going to start shooting. He's like, oh, no, no, I want you to have it. And I was like, what? He's like, yeah, consider it like an early graduation gift or whatever. So I was like, no way. And he was like, yeah, you know, I, this is like I sh he shot on a Mamiya. 645 back in the day so it was like yeah this is six by six you know it's like medium format the real deal i could really see you getting into film photography so i was like okay shooting film shooting film and it's just kind of rest is history you know yeah i definitely like more recently i've felt that it's not really like a pressure but it's it's more like oh you know this is like I have the opportunity to do this, to document these types of landscapes and this geography. And I get a lot of comments that, you know, kind of describe how fortunate I am to be in a place like this where there are mountains and these beautiful landscapes. Um, and a lot of people kind of say that they enjoy living like vicariously through me. So um, yeah, you know, on one, one hand, I definitely do feel like it's not necessarily my duty, but I'm in a position where I really love photography. I love being outside. I love out the outdoors. Um, and it just kind of makes sense to combine the two. Recently, I've just, especially since summer came around, you know, I've just loved being outside by myself, just kind of making these um, short videos about, you know, the, the places that I go and then combining film photography with that. I think it's it's definitely the avenue that I want to continue to pursue and explore. Yeah, that um, that was a very pivotal moment in my life. Uh, before that, my mindset was very just you know like full speed ahead, don't look back, don't consider. Um, the uh, you know the the repercussions or anything of uh, those types of like adventures and those actions that I would take and um, that was like a huge just whoa like take a step back and and think about life on it in a different way um, and so yeah after that I've I've noticed I've just I slow down a lot more um, with just the way that I live, but also with my like video and photography work. Um, I, I was really like in, inspired, I guess, by, you know, these like vloggers on, on YouTube. Cause I was super into video at the time. So I was like, oh, I'm going to, you know, make a YouTube video every single day for a year. And I kind of had this young, super immature mindset of like, Oh, you know, I'm going to be, become this big vlogger YouTube guy, you know, it's like, and I look back and just realize how, um, how 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 much my mindset has changed and um just how much moving forward i want to focus on the simpler things which i think comes out comes out in my photography a little bit because i always try to focus on you know photographing simplicity and um that's ju just my uh you know i i kind of have this goal to just find appreciation and fulfillment in the simpler things in life and that all that definitely came from that incident of me breaking my back along with some other things but 
you bet I'm taking all the precautions that I can from here on out and I'm going about it in a little bit of a different way now. Um, but yeah, like it had a huge impact on my photography and the way that I shoot my like videos and everything. It's, you know, just, I, I like being content in the moment, like finding fulfillment in the simple things. And that's kind of what I try to show with uh, my YouTube channel. A few months ago, I, I shot um, a lot around my property, my family's property that I live on, that I grew up on. And um, it's like so many fo like photographic scenarios that I come across, I find I, I'm there because there's some, there's some memory there or there's some, some sort of deeper meaning behind it. And um, it kind of toys with my emotions a little bit, like photographing around the property that I grew up on because I have so many fond memories out here and um, it's changed so much, much since I've gotten older. And it's like going back to that store, it's like, you know, I remember being 10 years old and going in here with my buddies and grabbing, you know, an ice cream cone or whatever and playing Little League at the field across from there. Or like, so it's like I always find myself going back to these places and um, photographing them again because at the time I like either wasn't into photography or didn't have my camera on me. Even a lot of the land, even a lot of the landscapes that I go to, I've been to before, but um, I never had my film camera. I never photographed them in a way that I felt content with. So um, yeah, like I think a lot of the time it is some subconscious, but. There's also a lot of the time where it's like, oh man, I'm going to go back to this spot that I remember being at when I was a teenager and try to capture it, you know, with what I know through film photography now. For me, that's one of the fun parts about photography is looking at the images after the fact and just thinking, like imagining all the different ways that you can take it. I get quite a few comments um, about, you know, people saying, like just with everybody's photography, uh, just how much they like looking at images for longer periods of time and drawing meaning, uh, creating these scenarios out of, the, out of the images. And like I mentioned, you know, people can get a little bit far-fetched and sure, I've probably gotten a little bit far-fetched with some of the images, you know, but um, I, you know, it's photography is such a subjective medium and it, it's fun to kind of partake in those imagine um, those uh, imaginatory if that's a word scenarios and um, but yeah you know like I'm trying to move towards a more um, like I, I want to be more what's the word like I want to focus on the storyline before I take the image you know like I want to have more purpose, I guess, in a lot of my work, but um, I think that's something that comes with time and something that'll happen as I progress. And the community gallery was hands down the coolest um, initiative and coolest thing that I've been a part of um, since I started film photography. Really, like with within all of my video work and all of my photo work over the past decade that really like hit me differently than anything else had and but I basically just wanted to give like smaller photographers an opportunity to showcase their work to people that I knew would appreciate it because on Instagram it's so easy to share a photo and somebody literally will like see the, the name see the photo double tap and scroll on like they don't take any time to look at the picture and I'm guilty of this too like sometimes I'm just scrolling through Instagram and I just find myself like I just like swipe double tap swipe double you know it's like I'm not even consuming these people's work that they put so many hours into making you know like I'm sure you can relate to this if you went out and shot a whole video and took all these photos and you spent a whole day doing it and then you know another half day editing and making sure everything is looking the way that you want it to look and then you know to have just everybody kind of just swipe by and then it's gone you know it's like it'd be amazing I thought it would be amazing to have a gallery that's like solely focused on people that are passionate about film photography and I knew would appreciate the work that all these people put so much time and effort into and so yeah over the course of four, you know I opened up anybody can submit because I never photography isn't a competition you know and it's so subjective one person's worst photo might be another person's favorite image 
And so I got a lot of people that were like, oh, I don't know if my work's good enough. I'm like, dude, just submit it, man. Like there's people that all, there, there, tons of people are going to see this and um, it might speak to somebody. It might not speak to another person. It doesn't matter. Photography is such a cool medium in that way. But yeah, it was amazing. Like just got like the cool, the, the coolest thing for me was hearing people, uh, hearing people say that they had found new photographers that they are in communication with now and collaborating with or taking inspiration from in some way or another. Right now it has almost 6,000 unique viewers from, I think it was 90 plus countries. So people all over the world are, are viewing this and it's, uh, yeah. And it's really made me realize that that is a huge focus of mine moving forward is the community because it's such an important part to film photography is, you know, the people that make the photos and consume the photos. So doing more stuff like that, finding new ways to stay engaged with the community um, is going to be of utmost importance to me. But yeah, the community gallery was, I'd say it's like my personal highlight of, uh, of my film, my, <laughs> my film photography careers thus far, even though it's a very, very short one. Mm -hmm.